All right, guys, so this is the space. This is going to be my butcher shop. It's about 1,500 square feet. Right now, it's totally in ruin. Uh, you know, things are getting dug up. Um, there's trash, cords, all that stuff. But I thought it might be interesting for anybody that's going to be opening a business. Um, I'm in the United States. I'm in Florida. Um, you know, in the restaurant industry or something related. Um, and I can kind of just walk you through the process that I had to go through. Um, and I can show you the final product. And I will be continuing to make videos, uh, food videos. I'll definitely be doing that. And especially when the shop's open, I'm going to be making a lot more... Uh, I'd say like meat videos and other kind of cool preparation videos because we're going to be getting in local Florida raised hogs. We're going to be getting in cattle. We're going to get, be getting in chickens, everything as much as possible that's local. And if it's not local, then it'll be within, you know, regional and farm raised. And I'm trying to avoid that commodity, uh, you know, like, um, like the feedlot farms and all that stuff. Like I'm not, a, I don't like any of that stuff. I think it's unhealthy. And I want to support my community. I want to support the farmers and also the community of Boca Raton. I think they're into quality food, you know, and, and you can't really find any farm fresh uh, like hog, like beautiful pork chops, you know. And there's, there's many reasons why that meat is better. And I'll be getting into that in other videos. And I'm going to be getting into like, I'm going to deep dive into this whole project because this is a huge project. This is my first and uh, I'm very excited about it. But there's a lot of stuff that you have to do. So, um, you know, for instance, so we have just started uh, construction on the, the grease line, right? So there's one right there. There's one right there. Let's see if, yeah, right there, there. And then the main line goes there and it goes out into a grease trap. So these lines all right here are basically going to be used for food or, um, you know, like water that has grease in it. So it doesn't just go straight down the city, uh, you know, sewage system. Um, it has to be filtered and then, you know, processed and then the grease gets sucked out and all that bull stuff, you know. Um, but this is going to be a brand new shop. Everything here is going to be brand new. Um, so it's very exciting to show you this right now because I don't think you're going to recognize it when it's finished. Um, we're going to put up walls. We're going to put up a beautiful walk-in. Actually, the walk-in is going to be right there. It's going to be like a, a big walk-in, like a, I think it's like a seven by 10 with a couple glass windows, which is kind of really cool. So you can kind of see like the animals hanging um, in the corner, not, not where that hood is, but um, like in the corner right there, we're going to put up a wall starting there and it's going to split this space all the way in half. So the way I was able to get the space is a 3,000 square foot space, but the landlord said, hey, you can split it in half. It used to be two units, but you have to build the wall. So now we're building a wall right there. You know, it's, it's basically directly in half. Um, and actually my team just brought in the, um, I guess the lumber and like the steel beams and whatnot, and they're, they're gonna be getting started shortly. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we had to go through an architect. He had to draw plans. We have to submit them to the city. The city has to review them. The city reviews them. Then, you know, they have to approve them or, set, you know, re sub reject them, basically. Then we have to, like, write new permits um, or little tweaks even, or even submit paperwork, like proof of insurance and stuff like that, which is something that I've never done before. You know, I've never opened up a shop before. Um, I've never built a shop before. I've worked in many uh, restaurants. I've worked in butcher shops. I've butchered a lot of meat. I've ran businesses, but I've never started anything from scratch. So I'm very excited about this. And uh, I just feel passionate. I feel good about this. But, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I, I guess it would be like red tape. You can't just come in here and just start digging up things and then, you know, open up shop. Like, you know, you have to do it slowly but surely. Like, uh, so yeah, there, there's, there's that. And uh, yeah, we're, we're super excited. So this is going to be the other side. They're going to actually be um, a coffee house um, that does food. They're keeping that, uh, that grease hood right there and uh, that burner. And I'm going to install a brand new hood. Once this wall is built, it's going to be right here and it's going to go up to the, uh, up through the beautiful ceiling. As you can see, we're going to strip out all that those AC ducts are all getting stripped out. And then we're going to have uh, one AC unit that's just going to go right along that wall right there. It's going to be an exposed unit. Um, I can't remember the exact terminology that they use for that. 
Um, and then we're going to have, uh, like I said, the walk-in. There's going to be a little walk walkway there. There'll be a, a handicapped bathroom. Um, and then that'll kind of be the kitchen. So we'll have like the hood and then we'll have a, a beautiful smoker. Um, I'm going to buy a um, Southern Pride smoker. This is pretty high quality um, because I'm really going to do uh, some slow cooked, slow smoked meats like pastrami is kind of one of my uh, I just love making pastrami and I want to brine it for several days and then slow smoke it and it offers steam. So yeah, so it's, it's going to be super exciting. We're going to have a lot of cool stuff to offer. We're doing sandwiches. We're going to do grab and goes. Then we're going to have your sausage and then we're going to have some charcuterie that I like, you know, pâtés, rillettes, confits, things like that. Um, and then we're going to also have simple dinners where you can just grab and go like uh, meatballs and, um, you know, chili and all that stuff. Uh, we'll do pop-ups here. We'll do pop-ups like, uh, you know, we'll do like a um, burger pop-up, you know, dry aged like a hind quarter of beef, um, grind it up and do some like real nice burgers, you know, like once every month or two months and maybe some other pop-ups, you know, like a fried chicken or a ramen, which I was doing in my other shops. So it's going to be pretty exciting. And uh, I'm going to go into another video too about why I chose to open up a butcher shop and not a restaurant because I had always worked in restaurants, right? But, um, you know, this butcher shop for me right now has all the pluses with a lot less minuses um, that restaurants have. So I can still be creative. I can still practice my craft. Um, I can feel proud about what I make, you know, and it's a little bit less stressful. The hours are a little better, et cetera. But that'll be for another video. But right now I just um, for all of you that are interested, uh, if you guys were hoping for just a cooking video, stay tuned. Eventually I'll get back to that. Um, definitely once my shop is open, I will be doing a lot of cooking videos. Um, but for now, I'll probably, you know, pepper them in here and there, but I just want to kind of keep you guys updated, um, and just show you the whole process of opening, um, well, it's a butcher shop, but a, a restaurant would be just the same, really. It wouldn't be any difference because I can't find a, any videos online that are like, kind of new or modern that, that kind of like explain the whole process of somebody going through, you know, the whole soup to nuts thing of uh, opening the restaurant, you know? So there's a lot to do, there's a lot to consider. And I think there's a lot of people interested in kind of learning about that kind of stuff. Um, and even if you're not in the restaurant industry, it's kind of cool to see like what you have to go through and all that stuff. And then once we're open, of course, it's going to be really cool. We're going to have a lot to show you guys. We're going to have a lot of videos. I'll have a lot of content. I'll have a ton of content. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on now. Um, yeah, they got to work on the grease line and then we'll get it that inspected. We'll close it back up with cement. We'll install the wall and then, you know, we'll do electrical and we'll go to town. So I'll keep you guys updated right now. It's summer 2023. Um, or mid September, it's like four, September 14th right now. Uh, I'm hoping we can open by the end of the year. I mean, I would love it if we opened like December 1st, but realistically, we'll see if it can even open, you know, before Christmas. You know, I don't know. Maybe it'll open a little after Christmas, but uh, the landlord was very cool. Uh, make sure you find a landlord that will work with you. Um, they're helping me out with the rent, they're helping me out with the wall that I'm going to build. Um, so, that's very helpful, you know, so you don't want to, um, if you can help it move into a place where you just have to start paying rent right away and you have to start paying everything, you know, you pay, you pay for everything. Like they don't even help. A lot of landlords will say, Hey, okay, I know you're going to be doing a really nice business. It's going to be great for my plaza. It's going to be great for my strip mall or location or whatever. So I'm willing to like, let you have a few months rent just to, you know, start building and, and getting the permits pulled and doing all that stuff. So this landlord was willing to do that, which is great. Um, I'm grateful for them. They're, they're cool. And uh, yeah, things are just moving along a little bit slower than expected, but um, I think maybe my expectations were a little too high. You know, I applied for permits. No, I, I actually, my architect started in uh, 2023, started in uh, March, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, it's, you know, it's been, it's been a while. It's been like six months. Um, and he was able to draw up all the plans, hire all the subcontractors, submit the plans to the city. And, uh, it's just like, just asking for a couple more little documents, but everything else is approved. Electricals approved, zoning is approved, all that stuff. So, and I'll, I'll get into a video about all that stuff, but, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. So, uh, you guys stay tuned for watching and, uh, we'll be back. So 
Be good. Bye.